today we'll be doing problem 832, flipping an image on leak code. And the problem states that given the matrix A, we want to flip the image horizontally, then invert it, and then return the resulting image. To flip an image horizontally means that each row is inverse. For example, if we flip 110 horizontally, the result will be 011. To invert an image means to means that each zero is replaced by one and each one is replaced by zero. For example, inverting zero one one results in one zero zero. So um, okay, we can start with um, writing a function and invert image, and uh, we're doing an array. So I'm thinking that. We could just have two functions, one that would invert the array, and then one that would flip the array. Um, so uh, we can make those functions modify the array in place. So what we could do is we can call those functions, so flip image, do an array, and then also invert image. All right, so now we have to define these two functions. So um, inverting image seems pretty straightforward. We just have to loop over all the elements and just invert that um, entry. So we will loop over the rows. So I'll do for r in length array range. And then after that, we'll loop over the um, columns, so array of r would get us the specific row, and we want to get the length to do a range over the columns. So to invert this, um, we can check if it's 1 uh, converted to 0 or 0 converted to 1, but another thing that we can do is we can um, start with 1 and subtract the value that is there. So if the value is 1, 1 subtracted by 1 is 0, but if the value is 0, 1 subtracted by 0 is 1, so that's another way of inverting it. And um, this function doesn't have to return anything because it modifies the array. Uh, so let's do flip image. Alright, so we want to loop over the array again, but let's just loop over once. And then when we're at a specific row, what we could have is we can have two pointers, one pointer to the beginning of the column and one to the end of the column. And we slowly move them towards each other. And while we do that, we could then swap those values. So let's say um, have one for start column, which will be zero, one for end column, which would be the length of the array of the row, uh, but we have to subtract one to get the last entry. So for example, if the row length is three, the last entry, last index would actually be two. Um, so with this, we can do a while loop. While start C, so that's an end C, we could swap uh, the positions at that row index. So we have this uh, row right here. So let me call this row. Let's see to this. Let me move this here. And then we just have to swap uh, these two values. So we did the, this in three commands where we have a temporary variable, but we can also do it in one command where um, we use destruction, so we can do something like this. So star c and c is equal to row of um, n c start c. And this doesn't need to return the array either, and I think this is it. Uh, we just have to return it in this function because we actually don't need to return this function. Uh, we can just call um, this original function. 
on our array and return the array. Alright, let's hope this works. Oh, I see. Um, we're forgetting to um, increment increment our loop variable, so we have a new loop there. So let's hopefully this works now. All right, great.